I just wanted to do a cut crease so I decided to film it for you guys um yeah I don't want to talk too much about it because my intros are always so long and annoying and here I am babbling already so um yeah let's get into the video and sorry about my background <laughs> okay so I just deleted me applying like my first shade um I'm starting out with a light brown shade um whatever tones you want you're doing or going for um so I do whatever um tones you're going for, just choose the lightest shade in that family to start the transition process. So yeah, I took this shade from the Morphe palette. Um yeah, I'm just going to do that again on the other eye. And I'm going to try to avoid the lid. If I do get it on the lid, we could just clean it up later. But yeah. light brown which is just a step up from the previous brown shade we just used and I'm gonna apply it right over top the other one I'm just not gonna go as high up as I did before So next I'm taking the shade Sable um, and I'm just putting it on one side of the brush and the side that it's on I'm going to have it face upward and the side that it's not on that's going to hit the lid and no product's going to be distributed there. And I'm going to kind of angle my brush upward too just for a little bit of help as well. So I feel like I want a little bit more warmth in my life. So I'm just going to take a mixture of these two shades from the Morphe palette. This one and this one. Um, if you really like this shade, you can get a Makeup Geek uh, color in Cocoa Bear. It's a dupe for it, or this is a dupe for Cocoa Bear, whichever. I'm going to do the same thing with just putting the uh, color on one side, the other side bare. So yeah, I'm just going to, and keep in mind, you don't have to do this shape. Depending on your eye shape, you want might want to do a different type of cut. Um, you could do it more upward so it doesn't connect down here, so it like um, goes outward more to kind of like a wing. Um, really? The power is in your hands. <laughs> do you. Whatever you want. I just decided to do this type of cut crease today where it comes down like a C. Um, so yeah. Okay. So that's better. Okay, now... I feel like my lid isn't cut enough and defined enough, so what I'm going to do is just put a little bit of concealer on the back of my hand, like so. I'm just using this Master Conceal, and then I'm going to take a flat concealer brush, and I'm going to, like, carve it out. You don't have to do this, I just personally want it to be a bit more defined. I'm just going to tap it in first and then kind of drag it along and I'm not going to blend upward at all I want to just blend downward on the lid on the lid <laughs> oh my god the sliding though okay okay so now all I'm gonna do is just take this uh kind of skin toned peachy shade and 
I'm just going to place it everywhere I put the concealer. And use this as my brow bone shade. I'm going to just do some final blending. Okay. Now I'm just going to do some liner, how I typically do it. I'm just going to take this um, small smudge brush from e.l.f., wet it a little bit with some setting spray, and then dip it into, whoops, <laughs> and then I'm just going to dip it into black from Lorac. You could just use gel liner liquid liner you don't have to do a liner even do you but this is just my personal fave way to apply So now for the lower lash line, I'm just going to apply this Rimmel Coal Liner in Nude. And then, let's see here. I guess I'll just apply some espresso tightly on the lower lash line. Uh, probably three quarters of the way in. It's pretty much black because this is the same brush that I just. Uh, to make sure it's not like harsh or anything, I'm just gonna use my finger, and rub it out. <laughs> Just kidding. And then I'm gonna take, I guess, nectar to buff it out even more. And I like the warmth of this shade. So, yeah. I'm just gonna put it on like an angle brush. And I lied about three quarters of the way in. I pretty much went all the way in to the inner corner. But I don't want it to be harsh at all, so I'm really gonna buff it out. Looks pretty good to me. So, um, now I'm just going to put mascara on, do this eye too, and then put some lashes on, and then we'll be back and do the face. Okay, so this is the final eye. Okay, so for highlight, I'm going to use my Becca highlight if I can find it. And I like applying this with a fan brush I find that it applies a lot better when it with like opposed to a dense brush because sometimes it is a little too fleeky like it looks like metallic and it doesn't look flattering <laughs> so yeah I like applying it with a fan brush it just gives a nice light layer but it's like still fleaky it's just not too fleaky you know what I mean it's not tin man it's glowing angel from the golds This isn't the best fan brush, but, I mean, you know what I mean. Look at that, though. Yes, bitch. A little bit of Cupid's bow action. Chin. Even though I got some acne. 
because Mother Nature was not my friend this year or this month. Um, on the other hand, with the Anastasia one, I do like applying this with a more dense brush. The formula is completely different, and I find it applies a lot better with this type of brush. I'm just going to put it more on the high points. Tip of the nose. A little bit on the bridge. Cupid's bow again. Okay. For blush, I'm just going to go with my Wet n Wild Rose Champagne. It's my fave. And super cheap. This just warms up your face and it's going to make it look a little bit more alive. Okay. And now uh, I'm going to contour real quick. I'm actually, am I going to contour? IDK. I'm not really feeling it today. <sighs> Where is it? Oh, it's right from me. I'm just going to bronze up a little. I'm just gonna set it with my NYX Dewy setting spray. Um, for lips, um, I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I'm kind of feeling like Lolita, but at the same time, I'm just going to the grocery store. And in my little last town, I feel like everybody judges me when I wear any type of makeup. But um, hmm. fuck it, right? Just gonna put it on for shits and giggles um to line it I'm just gonna use NYX natural This eye look can essentially look good with anything, so. Or whatever your heart desires. Oh, yes, I'm really applying this really sloppy. Maybe I'm not supposed to wear this today. I feel like when I apply my makeup, my lip sloppy, that's a low key sign that I'm not supposed to wear that shade. calls me every two fucking seconds yeah okay so i took that off i just put some uh petroleum jelly on my lips uh and they look a bit red from taking it off but anyway i'm just going to apply this pillow talk shade from butter london just throw on a gloss and be good to go because addy k I thought I wanted to wear Lolita, but it just wasn't working for me. Okay. Okay, perfect. Alright. That's everything. <laughs> uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this look. If you did, make sure to comment give me a thumbs up subscribe to me if you love one of me and check out my instagram page where i post beauty pictures and such um sorry about my background i'm slightly lazy and also my cat is just too cute to um interrupt you know what i'm saying belly hey hey bella bella <laughs> um she has selective hearing but um yeah all right that's everything you guys i hope you guys enjoyed and um yeah i'll see you guys next time bye what the fuck <laughs> are you okay <laughs> my little belly is a little pink
能变成红红。What? Um. What? Stop fucking calling me.